I love Halloween, I do. It's a time of pumpkins. It's a time of festivities, of drinking, of feasts, of jovial antics and pumpkin wine. Awesome stuff. So come on, let's make a few gardens of it. I'm going to be making two gardens of pumpkin wine. The recipe I'm going to use is for two gardens. However, in the link below, there's going to be the full recipe for one garden and two gardens. So if you want to make one gallon, you'll find the recipe there. I like making my wine in bigger batches. If I'd make two gallons, I will. If I'd make five gallons, that's even better. It's the same process, takes the same time, and you may as well have more than less. So what we need now for two gallons of pumpkin wine is two pumpkins. These weigh about three kilos each. So for two gallons, it's going to be six kilos of pumpkin for one garden, three kilos. Happy days. We love Halloween or Samhain in this house. It's one of those traditions that we really enjoy. Not so much for trick-or-treaters or candy or any other malarkey, that's not Halloween, but for the proper traditions behind it. The Celtic, the Baltic, the Norse, all these traditions celebrating the time of year. So, to the wine, the essentials of any Halloween party, wine or mead. And of course, it's this little fella's first Halloween. So we have to carve a pumpkin for him, teach him the traditions from the start. Hey, hello Ronnie, how are you doing? This pumpkin is bigger than your head. Yeah. Hey, pumpkin. Yeah. First thing you want to do is chop your pumpkin. And also de-seed all that lovely spaghetti and seeds that are inside. I'll plant these up next year and hopefully we'll be able to grow quite a few more pumpkins. The skin of pumpkins is edible. Did you know that? Just the texture puts people off. It's rubbery, it's chewy, but it does contain a lot of nutrients and flavour. So why can't you add it to your wine? It's full of nutrients, tasty, it's fermentable. Why waste it? Why shove it in your compost heap when you can make a brew from it and then add it to your compost heap? I don't like wasting anything at all. And if I can get a use out of it, I will try to. Like the pumpkin skin. Same with the seeds. I'm going to roast those in the oven now, whilst Dee's dinner is cooking, and have them as a snack for later. Awesome. I'm going to be chopping all the flesh and all the skin of the pumpkin and adding it to my bucket. If you haven't grown your own pumpkins, you may want to give them a quick rinse because they might be covered in pesticides or other stuff. Covered in stuff that you may not want in your wine. But if you grow it yourself, yeah, you know it's come straight from your garden. Worst case scenario, a slug has been on it. Worst things in wine, honestly, sometimes. Like red kidney beans. With your two pumpkins already chopped and diced and sliced, you want to throw them into your fermentation buckets. This is a really simple recipe, but it's really, really tasty it is. I'm going to make this two gallon batch ready for next Halloween. I'm going to try and put it aside for a whole year to mature, and it's going to be delicious. After all, that's what Halloween's all about, isn't it? Feasts and festivities and wine and parties and 
remembering the good old times, those have been before us, and raising a glass to them. Oh yes. So, grab your pumpkin, into your bucket. Simple. Although pumpkin has a wonderful flavour all by itself, I often find in a wine it needs a bit of extra something to it. So this is where you can be really creative and make a standard pumpkin wine your own. So experiment, have fun with it. Add whatever spices and herbs you fancy. So that's my step now. So add a decent sprinkle, a good pour of cinnamon to your pumpkin wine. I need to buy more. And also ginger is brilliant as well with pumpkin. Isn't it dude? Hey, ginger. It's a decent shake of ginger. So let's add the ginger. Yeah. Hey, ginger. We love ginger. So that's going straight into the pumpkin mix. And what could be better than nutmeg as well? I love nutmeg, can't get enough of it. So a good grating, scraping of nutmeg into the wine as well. Get that wrist action going. Good, good scraping of nutmeg. Mmm, yes. Something else I need to add. Tea bag. I always add tea bags to my wine. Or a cup of tea. Just brings out the tannins, so I'm going to grab yourself a tea bag, normal, nothing fancy, nothing herbal, doesn't matter if it's old grey or a normal decaf tea bag. Straight in the bucket. Awesome. Dee has been complaining recently about me for this bunch of bananas that has been going rather mouldy. I love bananas like this where they go all brown. Maybe not quite this mouldy, but mm, I forgot about them to be honest. But. Eh. I'm going to shove in a couple of bananas. A bit fluffy on the outside and the skin doesn't really matter too much. It's the inside bit that's important and exciting. I shove in your brown, bruised, black banana. I'm putting about three bananas in for a two gallon batch. That skin's all right, no fur, no fluff. There it goes. To the pumpkin mix, I'm also adding a handful of raisins or so, about a cup's worth and pour them in, extra body, extra sweetness and flavour. Oh yes, good shape. And some citric acid in the form of lemon juice. Shake it. As Halloween, Sahing is about a feast. I'm adding honey to my pumpkin wine as well. That extra sweetness brings out the flavour a lot more, a lot more body, a lot more ooh, awesomeness. So. And put a pound of runny honey into the bucket with it. all the pumpkin stuff. is smelling most awesome. And now, the rest of the sugar you want to add. That honey will just add a lot of flavour, but sugar will make the alcohol. So for my two gallon batch, I am adding three kilos of granulated sugar. Straight in, one kilo, and the second and third kilos. And also, I'm adding a kilo of brown sugar. Brown sugar really brings out the nuttiness of a, of a wine. It goes really well with pumpkins, that sweetness, that flavour, that complexity. Those spices and the brown sugar, oh, awesome. Especially with the honey. I'm going to pour it in. And then put the kettle on to boil. Because you want to top up your bucket with boiling water up to your two gallon mark. And now, you can top up with your boiling water. 10 litres worth, two gallons. And whilst your kettle is boiling, you want to give it a really good stir. Mix all those flavours, dissolve that sugar. Let it become friends and tasty. So 
having a right Halloween party in the bucket it is. So once you've topped up all of your water, you want to let it stand for a few hours and come down to room temperature. Then you want to pitch in your yeast. I'm going to be using a high alcohol yeast because I want this to be brilliantly dessert-like. And also I've added a load of sugar, so it's going to need a stronger yeast. So I'm going to let this cool down and I'll see you in a bit. Well, hello again. My pumpkin wine has been bubbling away in the primary fermentation vessel for about a week. And it's smelling awesome it is. Delicious bean. So, all I need to do now, strain off the pumpkin and raisins and other bits of banana. Put it into my demi jobs. Oh yes, I can't wait. I have to wait a full year for this for next Halloween. Well, there we have it. Two dozens of pumpkin wine, demi jobs filled. It's smelling delicious it is. So I'm gonna let this ferment out and then set it aside for a full year until next Halloween and hopefully it will be absolutely delicious in a year's time. Well, that's the plan. So why don't you see me in a year or before? So, happy Halloween to you. See you soon.